guys, and this is Series 3 from the Mega Block Marvel Blind Bag figures. Um, this would end up being the last series, unfortunately. Mega Blocks had planned to make more, but the toy line did not sell well, so they ended up canceling, which is a real shame in my opinion. I really enjoyed these minifigures. Um, there was eight in this series, no re-release like with Series 2, it was just these eight, and the commons were Havoc, Iceman, Mr. Fantastic, Sandman, and Magneto. The two rares were Stealth Spider-Man and Cyclops, and the ultra rare was the Silver Surfer. As I mentioned previously, in Series 2 they did have the figures pre-assembled. Luckily in Series 3 they went back to where you had to assemble them. Articul articulation was pretty much the same, so we'll start with Magneto looking at a closer look. He has two accessories, a shield and a cape. So with the cape there is a peg back a hole back there where you can have them wear the shield, but you can't wear the cape and the shield at the same time. But anyway, so a very sort of classic looking Magneto with the purple and red. This series is more X-Men heavy. Um, not really movie inspired at all as with series 2. But a good variation I think on the different types of characters. So anyway, there's from Magneto. Not much real detailing. There is some kind of purple on his wrist and on his ankles, but other than that, just a typical Magneto, his head does move. Then up next we have Mr. Fantastic. Um, his, he has one big accessory, and that's sort of this gun. Ray gun, not sure, really sure what it's supposed to be, but really cool that you can hold that. And then there is sort of a stand on the bottom, I guess. If you want to take him off the block, he won't fall over. But a very good detail, Mr. Fantastic. Um, there is a 4 logo on his chest. He does have sort of the gray streaks in his hair. The rest of it is brown. Very nice detailing on that. So you have a closer look at the gun. There's sort of a blue laser coming out the bottom. He's holding. So that's Mr. Fantastic. Next up, we'll look at Sandman. You can see part of his fist is starting to turn into sort of the sand. He is holding a money bag. It says F-E-B on it. Uh, to me, this is sort of a, maybe a little bit more movie inspired. Maybe not. It does remind me of Sandman from Spider-Man 3. But also, it could just be a classic Sandman. So, you see he has a striped shirt on. Um, sort of the back of his neck. It's really kind of big. I don't know if that's supposed to be like... He's unstable, turning sand, or that's just the look of the character. Anyway, there's Sandman. Next we have Havoc. You can see he's in a black and blue suit. He does have the X-Men symbol on his belt buckle. He has two accessories coming out of his hands. You can see the sort of blue fire look or energy is supposed to be coming out of his hands, but... There's Havoc, he does have blue on his shoulders. Next we have Stealth Spider-Man, or Big Time Spider-Man, whatever you want to call him. Just one accessory, and that is the sort of yellow webbing. I don't know why they couldn't just give like a clear webbing or a white webbing, why they always had to color it. But anyway, you can see this is a very different Spider-Man than the ones we got in Series 1. A little bit slightly different sculpt, but pretty similar, just different painting. No shield with him. So he does have kind of a clear neon block. Next we have Iceman, which comes with a clear block. I think that's a nice touch. Just one accessory. Not much to say about him. It's kind of a clear sort of white. There is kind of a white painting on him. They get more kind of crystallized, like with ice. But, um, pretty generic sculpt. Not much detailing, really. It's just supposed to look like ice, and he has one accessory, kind of a clear ice shooting out of his hand. Alright, then we have Cyclops. Cyclops has one accessory, a shield. Um, sort of a yellow and not real classic spider I mean, Cyclops. Uniform, more of a more maybe astonishing, more modern Cyclops, and then of course he does have his 
visor on. And then finally, the, all right, and then the Ultra Rare was the Silver Surfer. As you can see, the Mega Block is a little bit different. As you can tell, there is a sort of a, a little bit of a knob pointing out that fits into the bottom of this board, so you can just have them set on the Mega Block like that. There's two notches, so you can have them either way. But anyway, there's the Silver Surfer. Not much really details, kind of more generic, merely. It's just a bright silver, shiny silver. You have him posed kind of crouching like I do. He just has his board. So anyway, guys, that is Series 3. That is the last series. And the Mega Block Marvel Blind Bag minifigures. I really enjoy this series. Um, if you can still find them, um, you might still be able to find them at Toys R Us or on toy shelves. I suggest you have a look. I really enjoyed these series, and it's a shame that I got canceled. So anyway... Rate, um, like, subscribe, comment, um, I'll be sure to do more videos, let me guys know what you want to see, and I'll try and do it, so see you later.